I wanted to show a video on how to charge a battery. Uh, it's pretty easy, but a lot of people don't. Some people don't know how to use these. Uh, I didn't know how to use this until um, I started working with it for a little while. Pretty much, you're going to have the literature on the front that kind of explains it. You got a. This is a model 87106C as in Charles. You've got uh, three different types of charging. You've got 55 amp charging, which is uh, when you want to start your vehicle to give it the most juice possible. You have an amp high rate of charge, which is 10 amps, which is going to be your um, your rapid charging. And then you got 2 amps, which is your low rate of charge or your trickle charger, which you can charge it throughout the night. This right here tells you your functions, what you have in your settings. Um, when the button's pushed all the way to the left and the white, that's charge. When it's on the right, usually it starts humming. That's when you want to actually start the vehicle. Let's say I had this hooked up to a car and I want to start it right now. I put this one on the red on the start. I put that on 55, and that gives you as much power as you can get. Since we're not doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to trickle charge this, uh, a rapid charge it, excuse me. So that's going to go all the way to the left, which is on charge. And then you have the start function, which is the first one. We're not going to use that. You have the first switch, which is the fast charge, which is 10 amps. You have the second switch setting, which is 2 amps, which is for um, trickle charging or slow charging overnight. And then you have the 6 volt, 10 amp, uh, if you have a 6 volt battery. Most cars are 12 volts, so I'm trickle charging right now on the second setting. This light right here will light up green when it's fully charged. And all you do is connect the battery cables. You have black on your negative. There's right above, right there, it's a little negative sign. Then you have your red. You can see it's sparking a little bit. You have your red. There's a little plus sign right there. So you got to make sure you have a good connection. Sometimes you might have to clean up the posts or scratch this into the metal a little bit to get a good connection. And that's about it. You leave it on. And then once this light turns green, your battery will be charged. Now, if you have a bad battery, it's not going to hold a charge. If you trickle charge it for like 24 hours or something, or like two days, this light never turns green, you don't even get anywhere close to 12 uh, amps, then pretty much it's safe to say that battery shot. Uh, this has been charging for a couple hours, and it was on zero. I got this battery from a buddy. I'm just trying to charge it up and see if it's still good. And um, it's actually moving pretty good. And then inside here, be careful because there's acid inside here, you can pop these caps off too and see if they're filled with fluid. If they are, battery's probably good. Uh, you might have one chamber that has a whole bunch of white corrosion. That's when the battery starts sulfating. And uh, when it sulfates, that battery doesn't have much long, much longer until the battery's pretty much shot. But these are all full of clean oh, what, electrolyte solution or battery acid. Um, and that's it. Just kind of a little bit of battery maintenance. It's always nice to have an extra battery or batteries laying around in case you need to, uh, you know, your batteries in your car die. We have a vehicle that's sitting around here, two vehicles actually, and they never get ran. Um, I keep up the maintenance and run them every month, but sometimes the batteries start going out. So anyway, this is just the basic way to charge a battery and keep up on some maintenance. If you have any questions, just please leave comments.